love being a stand-up comedian. It's probably the best job ever. Uh, if I could have any job, if I could have any job, I would be a cat, but that is <laughs> not something I'm supposed to talk about in public. <laughs> if I could have any job besides this, I know this sounds weird, but um, I would be a pharmacist because I would be like, I would add something cool to it. I would be like a different kind of pharmacist, okay? So I would do it differently, okay? So, so I would look like a pharmacist. I would wear the white coat, because without the white coat, you're just a drug dealer. <laughs> <laughs> I wear the white coat, but under it, I would go to like a Renaissance fair. We have Renaissance fairs here? Yeah. Yes, of course we do. Every state's got white trash, of course we do. So I go to Renaissance fair, <laughs> and I would go to like, the witch doctor's tent, and I would get one of those like medieval witch woman belts that has like some leather, and it's got bells, and raccoon pelts, and a, a jug for your ale, whatever, and it have like a jar of pigeon whispers. I'd have all these things, all the accoutrement of a creepy witch on my belt, and I put it under the coat so that when I walked, the coat would flare open, and you'd get glimpses of my medieval trickery under it, just and you'd be in line at the pharmacy and you'd be like, what's up with that one pharmacist? Is she into the dark arts? Is she a sorceress? Magic with a K? Does she play Skyrim alone? What is that? <laughs> and I wouldn't come up to the counter. Instead, instead of a bell that you ring, I would get, I would get a raven. I would stuff a raven. <laughs> and I would give it a beard. I'd glue on the beard. I would spend my time gluing the beard on and have a beard. And I would sit on the perch. So when you came up, to the counter, you'd have to pull the beard, and then the raven will go, Aah. That's my cue to appear, so, and then I'd, Pff, yes? <laughs> Secretly, I was waiting under the counter to hear the raven, and then, Pff, yes? <laughs> I was right there, there's no magic, I'm right there. Yes, my child, I call you my child, because that's what creepy people do. <laughs> and you'd hand me your prescription, and I'd say, okay, one moment. And I'd have a hump. Oh yeah, I'd have a hump. You gotta have a hump. If you're gonna be making medicine, you gotta have a hump. Because the hump says that you're serious. A hump is your calling card. A hump says, I'm not out partying. I'm not out getting drunk. I'm downstairs in the basement studying alchemy and, and witchery, and I'm learning how to turn newt thoughts into rat eyeballs. I'm doing things like that. I'm learning the proper use for an Erlenmeyer flask. I'm down there doing these things, okay? So I have the hump, and then and I'd say, take your, take your prescription. And one moment. And, uh, I have a limp, too. <laughs> The limp comes with the hump, standard. <laughs> and then I would set to work making your mess. So I'd be back here and I would have my back to you and I'd, I'd have all these sound effects on like a keyboard ready. So you'd be standing there and you'd hear like, one moment. And I would also have a closed circuit TV right here so I could watch everything in the pharmacy, okay? So you would go to like touch something and I would see you on the TV and I would just say this, I wouldn't touch that if I were you. <laughs> I'm just watching you and I have it. And like an hour later, I'd emerge with your medicine in the orange bottle. Like I didn't make your shit. I had it ready to go. I was just wasting your time. Because a hump suggests that I'm making it, so I want you to follow that fantasy. I didn't, I don't know how to make medicine out of herbs. I'm not Chinese, so I have it. <laughs> and I'd come up to the counter, and I'd say, and I'd set it down, and I'd say, would you like a consultation? <laughs> and you'd say, sure, and I'd say, okay. And I'd hold up your pill to the light. I shouldn't touch your medicine, but I'm going to. I'd hold it up, and I'd say, Take one, one, one. And I have all the other pharmacists flip the lights on and off to make it. <laughs> and they put lighters up to the sprinklers and we get one of the fog machines left over from our Halloween sale and, and it would fill the room and we'd have people wafting it with car mats just to make it go in some sort of circle. Take one on the seven solstice of the third vernal equinox. It's two different times a year, but it's just a bit. Take one in the presence <laughs> Presence of a righteous man with the blood of a virgin, also with crackers, so you don't upset your tummy. <laughs> I give it to you, and as you were going to leave, you didn't even say anything. I'd say, wait! I grab you. <laughs> grab you with a grabbing hand. 
what's a grabbing hand? I'm going to tell you. You can't, if you're going to grab someone and you want to instill fear in their heart, you can't grab with a well manicured hand with like a pretty ring. No one's going to be afraid. If I grab you with this hand, you'd be like, what? That sounds awesome. It's got to be creepy, okay? Someone grabs you out of a grave. What does it look like? It's sinewy. It's got dirty nails. It's all thriller looking. Just, yeah! I'm grab him. How do you make a grabbing hand? I'm going to tell you. You put your hand outside your car for two hours a day so it tans quicker than the rest of you. You take special liver pills that prevent your liver from functioning on this side, so you start to get liver spots all over, okay? Now you gotta make your fingers creepy, so maybe, so this finger, you got like a coke nail on that finger, this one's got like, like a raccoon eyeball for a ring, maybe this, you don't need this finger, you cut this one off totally, because you lost it, you lost it in the hobbit boar, I don't care, and then, <laughs> You get a bracelet made of like whore gypsy Kardashian hair. You wrap your hand in it. <laughs> Just as you're, I pull out my grabbing hand. I have it sheathed. It's sheathed in a sheath. And uh, <laughs> just as you're leaving, I'd go, wait. You'd be like, what? And I'd say, there's one more thing. And I'd pull out a hand of magic dust, which is just sand from the beach aisle in the pharmacy. I'd pull, I'd pull out a hand of dust and I would just go. <laughs> Do you have a CVS card? <laughs> <laughs>